prophet doesn't speak because people want him to speak. He speaks because God wants him to speak. Zambia is a great nation. Zambians are lovely people. Warm-hearted people. The nation of Zambia is a Christian nation. A nation that will always rise in the committee of all other African countries. God loves Zambia so much. And that is why sometimes God will raise a voice to speak. In the midst of so many confusion and so many prophecies, God has sent me as a voice to the nation of Zambia. Far back eight years ago, God had been using me to speak to the nation of Zambia. I had an opportunity to meet with His Excellency President Edgar Lungu before the election and I spoke to him the voice of God in person and I told him what the outcome of the election that brought him to power will be and at the same time gave him some prophetic warning that God told me before he started his administration I have had an opportunity to play a host to the ambassador of Zambia to Nigeria. He was here about three weeks ago to see me in person. And I gave him the prophetic word I'm about to say now in person to His Excellency. 2019, I wrote a letter, which was about five or I mean six pages later to His Excellency. 2020, I wrote another. I have written four times. To His Excellency, the prophetic word. How be I'm going to remove the ones that pertain to His Excellency in person, and I'll go straight to the one that pertain that consigns the nation of Zambia. Prophetically. The election that is about to take place this August in the nation of Zambia is going to be a tough one. As a prophet, I'm not in support of any political party or candidate. I'm just a voice that God is using to speak to the nation. And my Opinion is neutral, but the opinion of God remains. I'll try as much as possible to be careful with the way I present this message. But it doesn't mean my point will not be clear. The election will be tough. Some sensitive stronghold of the opposition might receive cancellation. There will be dispute on some sensitive stronghold of the opposition. But that won't stop the will of God. The Electoral Commission will do their best like they have always do the police in Zambia have a lot to do I see pressure I see little confusion but the will of God will prevail in the nation of Zambia 
there will be delay. In some sensitive stronghold. And I will not want to go straight or deep into that. In the result, there will be pressure. There will be an early lead from the opposition. We have to pray that the election should not get to a point where we are saying there will be a rerun. There should be no attempt to manipulate any result either from any party. Let the will of the people reflect through the ballot paper and let God's will be supreme. Will people cry foul play? Yes. But will it stop the will of God? No. I feel that the result will be delayed to negotiate behind the scene because of tension. But there should be no manipulation. His Excellency President Edgar Lungu meant well for Zambia. But like I have always said for the past five years, there are judices around you. They want to scuttle your vision for Zambia. The question is, did you allow them to prevail? And if you did, the answer will be best known by the ballot and the outcome of the election. If you dealt with your Judas, there will be no need to worry. But if you have not dealt with your Judas, you can tell by yourself that there will be surprises on the day of the election. Get me the chair. I want to show something. This is the vision I saw about. Please be very fast about it. Just give me the chair. Then we are going to pray. Please. Now, those of you who want to attack me, you can attack me. Those of you who want to, no problem. I want to quickly add that my prophecy about the outcome of the election last five years ago was used as a campaign tool by some members of the ruling party. I'm not trying to use my prophecy as a campaign tool. I remember when I prophesied, everybody said, the man of God is genuine. Hold it for me. When I prophesied, they said, the man of God is genuine. In my vision, I saw the chair where the current president is sitting on spiritually. And it was typified by this spiritually are you seeing this can there be balance I, I saw some people trying to repair it but the more they do it goes down I, I, I saw the owner of the chair trying to sit down but the more they do it goes down so, if I were you, what is the meaning of this part? It is the people I'm trusting that I think will stand for me on the day of the election. If I don't straighten my house and work on my Judas, 
There might be no chair to sit on. That's it. Leave the chair here. That was the vision. I, give, I leave you all to make the meaning of that. For H H. I've said this five years ago. It is in your destiny to be a president of Zambia. How it's going to happen, I don't know. And I'm not changing my position about that. I don't know him in person. I've not met him. And I said to him, openly here, in the old side, say, don't ferment trouble. Hold on. Your time will come. For H.H., H., I'm not holding brief, neither for the president, neither for him. Is it in his destiny to be the president of Zambia? Yes. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing any of you can do about it. It is written in his destiny. How many times is going to fail? I don't know. Is it the time is left between him and God? Can I speak as a man? Yes. With the seasons and the things I see in the cloud. As a man, I can tell you it's the time. But that is left for God. Don't give up. It's in your destiny to become president. But may I quickly add, like I did when the current president was there. I said to him, it is also in the destiny of HH to be president. And I want to say it again. That HH is not the David of Zambia. is the Saul of Zambia. Anytime he becomes a president, he's just there as a Saul and not a David. This is the problem most people have with me. When I give prophecy and the sweet part come and the bitter part, hey, they get annoyed. If the prophecy of the prophet is sweet to take you to, the, to power and is bitter when truth has said, it's left for you. For us, we prefer not to enter a nation than to tell lies. Give Jesus a clamp of it. Can you show that seat again? Can you show the seat? You can see. If I were you, I will forget about the opposition. I will look at those I call my pillar. They have broken my stamina. So what I will do in the next 11 days is to repair my chair, not to look at the other person. If these legs are not strong, then you can tell what will be the outcome. Give Jesus a clamp of rain. I prefer to close my church in Zambia than to lie. I prefer to say the truth to power. I've met presidents of nations and I've always said this. <laughs> I look to them, to their face and tell them what God has said and what God is giving us warning. To every prophetic word, there is also a condition and a warning. God forbid that I look for money from any man. I think I'm so blessed that I'm content. Speaking truth to power is what we will do. Give Jesus a clamp of it. God spoke to me about Nam Dekanu. And I gave a warning. I said there are Judases around you. 